What's going on guys? Bitbucket Pipelines is an integrated continuous integration and continuous delivery service built into Bitbucket. Bitbucket Pipelines allows you to automatically build, test and even deploy your code based on a configuration file in your repository. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a pipeline to build, test and deploy a React application to an Amazon S3 bucket right from Bitbucket by using this service. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get to it. First, let's create a new repository in Bitbucket. So I'm going to click on create repository. I already created a new project, so I'm going to select React Pipeline Project and the repository name will be React Pipeline. I'm going to click on create repository. Now I'm going to clone the repo locally. Okay, I'm going to enter to the projects folder. And now I'm going to create a new React application by using create React app. So this is npx, create React app. And I'm going to set up this new app within this directory. Okay, our React application has been successfully created. So now let's open Visual Studio Code. And now let's set up Bitbucket pipelines. So we need to create a new YAML file. And the name of the file will be Bitbucket pipelines. So here we need to start by writing pipelines. In Bitbucket pipelines, we have three main types of pipelines. We have branches, we have default pipelines, and we have custom pipelines. Branch pipelines contain branch specific pipeline definitions. A default pipeline contains the pipeline definition for all branches that don't match a pipeline definition in other sections. And then we have custom pipelines and this type of pipelines do not run automatically on a commit to a branch. So if you want a pipeline to only run manually, you have to set up a custom pipeline. Okay, let's set up a pipeline for the master branch. So below branches, we add master. And here we can add the different steps that are going to be part of this pipeline. So here we add step, we can set a name for the step. So here we can set build and test the application. And here we can also specify what's gonna be the image that we're going to use to run this step. So we can say image, and here we can set, for example, the latest node image. So this node, latest and here we can add a script that is going to run first we are going to run npm install to download all the dependencies then we can run the unit tests of our application so this is npm run test and we can also build the application so this is npm run build okay let's try this so i'm going to commit and push all the changes and we are going to trigger this pipeline execution. So this is git add everything. Now git commit minus m initial commit. And now let's push all the changes. Git push. And now if we go and take a look at the pipeline section, and as we can see here, we have our first pipeline running. We can see the status here in progress. Let's enter there. And let's see the reference steps. Now it's running npm install. It's going to download all the dependencies. Now it's going to run the tests. And now it's going to build the application. And as we can see here, the first pipeline execution ran successfully. Okay, now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, now let's set up a custom pipeline. A custom pipeline only runs manually. For example, if you want to execute a deployment to a production environment, it makes more sense to do it manually rather than automatically. Here I'm going to set, for example, as a deployment environment, I'm going to set production. And let's say that we want to deploy our application to an S3 bucket for production. 
So here we need to add the different steps of this pipeline. So this is a step. I'm going to assign a name to this step. Building the app. I'm going to assign an image. Let's say node latest. And I'm going to also add a script. So in this case, I'm going to run npm install and npm run build. And if we want to deploy the output of this build, we need to add an additional setting here that is artifacts. Artifacts are basically a way to specify what is the output of the step. So this is build. And we need to specify that extension. And within this pipeline, we are going to add another step that is a deployment step. So this is a step. And the name in this case will be deploying the app to S3. Here we are going to specify what is the environment. So here we can say deployment and we can set this value to production. If we go to Bitbucket, and if we go to the repository settings, we're going to see that we're going to have within the pipelines section, we're going to see the deployments section. And here we're going to have a list of environments, test environments, station environments, and production environments. So we can set, for example, production. And here we need to add all the environment variables, for example. In this case, we are going to add environment variables for the S3 bucket. Let's go back. So here I'm going to set what is the script that is going to run for this specific step. And in this case, we're going to use a pipe. A pipe is a way to integrate with third-party tools. In this case, we're going to use a tool that will allow us to deploy our application to an S3 packet on AWS. And this pipe is Atlassian slash AWS S3 deploy. And the version in this case is 0.2.4. And we need to pass a set of variables to this pipe. So this is AWS access key ID. And this is the way that we have to access the environment variables that we define here. Then we're going to have AWS secret access key. dollar sign and I'm going to paste this here AWS default vision dollar sign and I'm going to paste this name here then we're gonna have s3 bucket And again, dollar sign, and I'm going to paste this name for this variable. And here we need to set ACL, and these are basically the permissions of our bucket that is public read. And finally, we need to set local path, and this is the build directory where we're gonna have the static assets of our React application. Okay, I'm going to set these variables in the Bitbucket environment. So I'm here in the deployment section of the pipelines. First, I'm going to add the AWS access key ID. Now I'm going to set the secret access key. Now I'm going to set the AWS default region for the bucket. So this will be US East one. And finally, I'm going to set the S3 bucket name. So let's go to the Amazon Management Console and I already created this S3 bucket, React Pipeline Prod. I'm going to copy the name of the bucket and I'm going to paste the name here. I'm going to click on Add. And those are the four variables that we need to set up here. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and now let's commit and push all the changes. Hit Add Everything, Hit Commit, minus n, adding custom pipeline with S3 deployment. And I'm going to push the changes. Now let's go to Bitbucket 
and let's go to pipelines. And as we can see here, it's going to run the pipeline for the master branch. It's going to install, test, and build the application. And as we can see here, it runs successfully. And if we want to run our custom pipeline, we need to click on Run Pipeline. We need to select the branch. In our case, it will be master. And here we can select the pipeline. In our case, we are going to run the custom production pipeline. And now we are going to click on Run. And as we can see here, we have the different steps of the pipeline. We have the step to build the app. And then we have the second step to deploy the application to S3. Now it's running npm install to download all the dependencies of the application. As we can see here, our S3 packet is empty. We are going to check back again after our pipeline runs. So let's go back to the packet. And now it's running the deployment step. So now if we refresh our S3 packet, we should see the static assets of our application. Yes. And if we click on the index file, and if we go to the object URL, I'm going to open that in a new tab. We're going to have our application up and running here. So now let's make a change. Let's go to the app.js file and let's add a title here. So let's add an H1. So this will be testing with bucket pipelines. with React. Now let's commit and push this change. So this is git add everything and this is git commit minus m adding a title and let's push this change. Now if we go to the bpacket pipelines dashboard as we can see here we have a pipeline running that was triggered after we push this change. So if we go here, we're going to see that it's going to run the master branch pipeline. It's going to run npm install, npm run test, and finally, it's going to build the application. Now let's go back. Now let's run the custom production pipeline manually. So we're going to see the new title here in our application. Let's go back and let's go to run pipeline. I'm going to select the master branch. And now I'm going to select the custom production pipeline. I'm going to click on run. And now it's going to run the different steps of the pipeline. It's going to build the app. And finally, it's going to deploy the app to S3. So first, it's going to run npm install. After that, it's going to run npm run build. And now it's going to deploy the changes to the Amazon S3 packet. And now if we go to our React application and we refresh here the page, we should see the new title. Yes, testing with bucket pipelines with React. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.